Good afternoon. This is Jason here. We are at Birchfield Family Farms in Oxford, Ohio. I have a, a prayer today. I know the following on the channel typically is folks uh, new to homesteading or starting a homestead. And um, the uh, last person to contact me, this psalm uh, came into my mind and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna share that. And not only that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray that here. And if you're somebody that's new to homesteading, you're starting a farm, maybe you already have one, but you're a few years in, um, <clears throat> I'd like to pray this over you uh, today. This is Psalm 90, verse 17. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. We are bitter, bitter cold today. Very chilly day here on the farm. We have everybody moved over now. Uh, you can see our automatic water there in the corner. Everybody's moved on to our winter uh, paddock setup. So automatic, no, no hauling water, uh, no unfreezing waters. Uh, just chucking hay out there from the, uh, the hay barn there where the light's on. Kind of throwing it over the fence. Pretty, pretty straightforward uh, time of the year. We really try and uh, kind of bring it in. Be settling down here as the... Uh, the season winds down, coming to the shortest day of the year here. I believe it's uh, coming up on Wednesday. I tell people uh, often that I, I can look at my steps uh, during the seasons, and uh, it's funny how the steps will align with the daylight hours, and I like that. I think that there's something uh, healthy about that to working in season. Uh, I do think the, that's the way that we were, the way we were designed. And uh, we try and do that here. Uh, take you around, show you what's going on. Okay, following Emma today. Looking at her, I think we got some activity here. Uh, when I put the hay out, she did not come over to eat hay like everybody else. She kind of stayed uh, lying down. And uh, that's an indication we got some labor going on. I'm noticing too, she kind of, she'll bring her head and she'll kind of look. She'll kind of look at her backside, like, man, what's going on here? And uh, you can see that that bag is just completely full. She's engorged and uh, definitely springy, springy on that back end. So we, uh, I think we're going to get a calf here soon. We'll keep an eye on things. Okay, this is this is big here. You can see I, I put the hay out here, and she has abandoned abandoned the hay here. She's going out by herself. Uh, this is uh, that's a pretty big move here. So that's telling me uh, she is definitely in labor. Okay, I think it's kind of interesting her choice of position here. So we have the silo over there. The wind is coming out of the southwest. And she's kind of positioned herself down in this ravine here. <clears throat> I wonder if that's to kind of shelter the, <clears throat> the calf from that uh, wind. That wind is pretty bitey today, eight to 10 mile an hour. Uh, we're right at about freezing, uh, low 30s here, but with the wind chill, uh, we're down in the 20s. Okay, we did just see a sack break here, so her water has broken, so we're doing this. Okay, here we go. You can see two, two hooves coming out there. Two hooves, it looks like a nose, so we're in the correct position. All right. Good job, man. Got some friends over here. They're gonna come out and watch. Come on out. We got uh, two hooves and a nose. Looks like a 
I saw a little, a little twitch of the nose there. That's a good thing. I can see that. I can see the hooves moving. Making good progress. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Thank you, Lord. Alright. <laughs> First breath. Alright, been about five minutes here. Get the head up, try to stand up. <sighs> Looks like a little heifer calf, from what I can tell. Fast enough, you get the you get the horn from Mama. Mama's trying to get her up. Mama knows. Get her up, Mama. There you go. some hay up find a little warmth for the bedding and she she's up the next thing is she has got to find some milk We've got to get her nursing she's trying It's a couple hours later here, and uh, <clears throat> it's a chilly one out there. We've got, uh, like I say, it's uh, low 30s, but man, that, that wind chill is what's really, really getting us today. And, uh, you know, we did run them back in here uh, in the barn. We'll give you some shots of them here uh, in a minute. But, you know, tonight is what I'm <clears throat> a little bit concerned about. You know, we're... What are we now? 3.30, 4 o'clock, and it's going to be dark here in an hour. And, um, you know, we're supposed to hit mid-20s tonight, but that wind, that wind is 10 mile per hour out of the southwest, and it's that wind chill that's really bitey. And so would they be okay? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, I'm not going to chance it when we've got a, a barn and facilities. So get them in here, uh, get them some good hay, and we'll give you some shots here. I... Uh, the calf is up. I have not seen her nurse yet, though, so we're keeping a close eye on that. Once we see that, we should be in the clear here. Okay, I got my little cattle driver here in the back. Run them over here, Sam. I pretty much bribe everybody with hay. That's how we do it. Shoo. <laughs> 
Nobody messes with Patrick the Bull. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so what do we got? We got M and the calf tucked in, so we should have one, two, three, four, five out here. Can you run the rest of the sheep around? See if we can get them out here, and then we should be in business. Oh, wrong way, sheeps. Hey, come down here. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Hey, shut that red gate behind you so you don't give up what you just did. Okay, then we'll get them. All right. Good. Good work. We did put a little bit of hay on top of uh, the calf there. And uh, just to get her, she was shivering. And it looks like she stopped now. Just warming her up a little, getting everybody settled in here. <clears throat> Still looking for that uh, nursing to start. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. But these mamas get very territorial. Watch this one. I come over the fence. Whew. Man. <laughs> I would not want to be in there with those horns. Whew. But that's good. That's good. We want her to be a good protector of that calf. Thankfully, when we were running them over here, she did not do any of that. But uh, all kinds of predators out here, coyotes, black vultures. All that stuff, and she is an excellent, excellent mama. Okay, back out here in the barn. It's about 11.30 p.m. We uh, <clears throat> had the birth today uh, about 1 p.m. I look back. Um, we're, doing, we're doing great now, but uh, there was some concern there uh, around 9, 9 p.m. or so. Hadn't really seen her latch on. And that doesn't mean that she hadn't got anything because we hadn't been out here the whole time. But uh, we were we were thinking about running Emma through the, the chute there and milking her out because we, we really hadn't seen anything. Now, the, the concern here, when you haven't seen them latch on, uh, obviously it's that colostrum that they need to get. And that is for antibody transfer. So it's got to do with immunity. You want to see them nursing ideally within the first two hours. Um, some of the research says that after four hours, uh, the, the calves, if they're weak, they really need to be tube fed colostrum after, after four hours, the, they start to lose the ability to absorb those antibodies in the colostrum. Um, that's after four hours. If you get to 12 hours, uh, they have lost, uh, 50% of the, uh, uh, absorption of that. Uh, colostrum and by 24 hours um, it's it's they, they pretty much can't absorb antibodies from the colostrum which is a huge deal um, so that's what some of the the research says um, now I like to err on the side of letting mama and calf kind of do their thing uh, there's a balance though I mean I think we were extremely cold today out there I do I did see the calf shivering some outside that uh, probably wasn't a great move to uh, you know have them birthing out there I, I I don't know I mean everything everything's good now but looking back um, I'll probably be a little more uh, cautious about that especially that wind and uh, we, we had quite a long walk uh, up here to the the barn too, which I think tuckered out the the calf. Um, I did pile some hay on top of her and kind of warmed her up. <clears throat> I think that helped a lot. But uh, the other issue here too is that uh, that udder, uh, Emma's udder, is not in good shape at all. We've kind of talked about that before, but uh, she kind of has um, three of those teats that I know of that, that work, and there's one that's kind of normal sized on the other side. And that's the one that the calf has been latching onto. Um, and I know when we've milked her before, we have not received milk out of that one that's the closest to normal looking. But uh, I am watching the calf and uh, she is she is bouncing around to the other ones. 
Um, it doesn't appear that she's having a hard time latching on. She's getting right in there and uh, bouncing around, getting some milk now. So all, all is well here uh, tonight on the homestead. Uh, I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful evening. Merry Christmas to you and your families. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Take care.